what's going on and welcome junkies man i'm excited once again we are back out here at beautiful port canaveral we're gonna work ourselves a little bit down this bridge area so it's gonna be a little loud you're gonna hear these cars and everything but i'm excited to get back out here we found so much stuff in a small amount of time last time and this is a large area so we're gonna keep hunting and see what else we can find before we jump into this let me mention if you guys didn't catch it um, the links will be in the description down below for everything that's going on for global magnet fishing day including the giveaways the raffles and the gofundme so if you have a chance check that out in those the excuse me the description and with that being said let's jump right into this thanks guys Jig along. Whoa, a little further than I thought. looks like a flashlight everyone check that out oh there's a couple things on there so we got the old bottle top whoa there's a razor blade yeah and we got the old flashlight very first toss this spot is loaded we found so much here last time oh. something on there we got this time yep looks like a knife blade yep part of a knife blade there I believe yeah that's what it looks like to me knife blade Is that a knife? I think so. All right. Oh, it's what's left of one. Oh, space rock. I don't know what that guy is. Some fishing gear. And what's left of another knife? Thank you very much. Oh, that's got a wire coming out of it. It's not a space rock. It's a bolt that had a wire coming out of it. I don't know why. All right, we'll take that too. Okay, yeah, we got something. A little piece of rebar or something. Oh yeah, no trusty spiky rebar piece there. what it looks like when you bounce everything off of it. Whoa, that hit something as soon as it hit the water. Come out of there now. Oh my gosh. Alright, that's a big big motor. Oh. I knew I found something. That's a whole compressor for an AC. Look at all those copper lines coming off the top of it. My gosh. Whew. I guess it's a compressor. It looks like a compressor. Part of a cast net wrapped around the top of it here. There's copper lines. We'll take that too. That's what's up. Yeah, it's definitely an old AC compressor. I dropped it down there. You see it, all the crust fell off. Come here. Well, there is something on it. 
What's going on with this guy? Why is this even attached? No, it's a, a sinker. That's just an old clamshell with the line caught in it. If I put this guy back, we'll take this fishing line, leading line, and everything. Whoop! Magnet caught it. Uh -huh. Well, something stayed on it. There's part of, look, yeah, part of a rod and reel. Well, we sure hit something else big out there. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, look, 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 look. Ha <laughs> ha I didn't even see that on there. Yeah, I think there's a pile of rocks out there is what I was getting stuck on. Probably what everybody else is too. Take that little guy. Looks like part of a handlebar to a bike or something. Get stuck in some rocks. What do we got? Okay. Like some old part of construction, some steel or something. I'll take it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You got another beat. It's a rebar or something. Yeah. A piece of rebar covered in clams. More rebar? Looks like it. Yep. Maybe? Maybe that's rebar? Yeah. Another piece of rebar, a couple more hooks on there. We got it. Another piece of it actually looks like part of a sign or something. Down in the mud there. And some more fishing gear on there too. Yep, what's left is some old construction. up piece of metal got a nice lead weight look that actually that thing's bent that gum I'll take that too there's something hanging off of the bottom of it that's part of another rod and reel there now that's part of it too alright to rebore again. That's all covered in so much stuff out here. Salt water doesn't number to this stuff. Something's on there. What's that guy? Oh, all right. I got me a brand new fishing net. Check that guy out. No, we won't be using that for Herbert's aquarium. Some no, some might not. Herbert's my turtle. Whoa, okay. Swammed on it that time. Now we got it. Well, we got something. That's not what we had, but oh my gosh. Ugh. Goodness gracious. That pulled me overboard. I'm just smacked right on that. You're not going to get Another old piece of construction. 
Wow, that thing hit it so hard. I really wasn't ready for that. In gear, maybe? Yep. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, six hooks and part of whatever that is and fishing gear. Oh, oh, gosh. Officially, the largest flathead screw I've ever seen in my life. I thought maybe it was one of these things at first. I'll show y'all the geological survey from the Army Corps. We got this one from 1986, but I believe these. Are, oh, yeah, it's kind of real dirty. I thought that's what that. Maybe it is. I guess they do have a line there. I don't know. That one will clean up a little bit, take a better look at. What's that little guy hanging off of there? Hey, that counts. That counts. There we go. That's part of pliers. Right there, there's a turtle too. Oh no, come back up here little buddy. Big old sea turtle, got another cap there too. Come here, something's not on there. Hey, there we go. All right, well, the little piece of pliers was my good luck charm because now, oh, 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 that thing looks brand new. And a battery too. That literally looks. Yeah, it doesn't expire till 2031. Why is that in here? In a pair of pliers. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Another part of a rod and reel. Oh yeah, a whole bunch. One, two, three, three more hooks. Another part of a rod and reel. Maybe even part of a knife blade there. Thank you. That's a handle to a knife. Okay. It's a handle to a knife. One of the things for your little bubbler box. And my gosh, a whole bunch more screws and line, or screws, hooks and line. I'm caught on something. Okay. Oh, something is on there. More fishing gear. Look at that guy. There's a big old cast net down there that everybody's getting caught on. Yeah, right. Whoa, right when I said, all right, that was the last cat. We got the old catfish bell, a little piece of metal, another bottle cap. Love finding those catfish bell. I don't know if catfish are around here. All right, folks, that is going to do it for today. This place right here, this is insane. This is nuts. So I'm loving it. We're finding so much cool stuff here, cleaning up the waterways, as you guys can see. I made my way all the way back down and picked everything up, and we're taking it home with us. Before we get out of here, I again want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you to the members of the Magnet Junkie family that are joined up for the channel. Thank you to everyone for the donations. Thank you to everyone for the GoFundMe so far, the people who've joined the raffles, the people who sent in things for the raffle. You guys really don't understand. It means a ton. It means the world to me. So with that being said, as always, thank you all once again. And everybody remember, get up, get out, Go find yourself, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace out, everyone.